All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. So what I'm going to do is first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So this means that I get 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, those two cancel out, and I get 1. So I have 1 plus 12 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, from here, I can rewrite this as 12 over 9 to the power of x. And 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, I can rewrite this as 16 over 9 to the power of x. Now, 12 over 9, that simplifies to 4 over 3. And 16 over 9, that simplifies to 4 squared over 3 squared. Now, 4 squared over 3 squared, that's the same thing as 4 over 3 squared. And now I have this to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So 4 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite that as 4 over 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. And now I'm going to let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So if I substitute in u for 4 over 3 to the power of x, I get 1 plus u is equal to u squared. And now if I subtract u and 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times b, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So we have u is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, remember how we let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to u. Well, this means that 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, this gives me two equations. I get 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and I get 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And notice how this is a positive number to some power. Well, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative, meaning there's no solution to this equation, and all that's left is this equation. So, to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. 
In this case, I have log 4 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 4 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now that x is a term, we can, we can isolate it by dividing both sides by log 4 over 3. So when these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 4 over 3. And log 4 over 3, I can rewrite that as log 4 minus log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation over here. So I have 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. Now from here, notice how I have four of the same terms for my denominator, meaning I can just factor out that one term. So I get 1 over a to the power of x times, well, a to the power of x divided by a to the power of x is 1, so I get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 64. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so I get 1 over a to the power of x times 4 is equal to 64. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite all these terms in the power of 2. So 4 here is equal to 2 squared. 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. And finally, 64 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x over here, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 3x. And I have this times 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of 6. Now, I can multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 3x times 2 squared. So when these two cancel out, or sorry, these four terms cancel out, and I'm left with 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 3x times 2 squared is equal to 1. And because all these powers have the same base. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So let's first start off with 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 3x. That's going to equal 2 to the power of 6 plus 3x. And I have this times 2 squared, which is equal to 2 to the power of 6 plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 1. Now, 6 plus 2 is 8, so I get 2 to the power of 8 plus 3x is equal to 1. And I can write this as 2 to the power of 3x plus 8 is equal to 1. And now, 2 to the power of what number is equal to 1? 2 to the power of 0, right? So I can write this as 2 to the power of 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. And now, to solving this is pretty simple. If I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. 
Now we have a simple equation. All I have to do is subtract 8 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to negative 8. And now if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So now to check, my original equation was 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. Now we know that x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So I'm going to plug in negative 8 over 3 in place of all my x's here. So what is 8 to the power of negative 8 over 3? Well, 8 to the power of negative 8 over 3 is the same thing as 1 over 8 to the power of 8 over 3. And 8 to the power of 8 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root of 8 to the power of 8. So we have... Well, 8 to the power of 8, 8 to the power of 8 over 3, I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8 over 3, and these two 3s cancel out. So I get 1 over 2 to the power of 8, which is equal to 250, 1 over 256. So now I get 1 over... 1 over 256 times 4, which is equal to 1 over 4 over 256. And this is equal to 1 over 1 over 64, which is simply equal to 64, meaning 64 is equal to 64 and our solution is right.